Recently, we talked about pilgrimage art and some uh, temple shop art as well, and how they very much relate. But uh, in more modern times, really, we're talking in 19th, 20th, uh, 21st century, there's a lot of temple shop art that's of very poor quality. And then not only that, temple shop art has expanded out and it's become really a huge industry. And there's a tremendous number of painting schools in Asia, some in Europe, North America, where they produce or they mass produced Himalayan uh, style paintings, primarily Buddhist, some Hindu. In Kathmandu, it can be both uh, Hindu and Buddhist. And uh, this gives rise to, to also the concept that a lot of this temple shop art or this industry of making new paintings um, is, all, is all good and, uh, and, and forward thinking and uh, above board, when, it, when in fact it's not. There, there's many, many ateliers in Asia where they produce paintings that, are, that have no religious um, or traditional meaning at all. They're, they're simply tourist art uh, meant for a tourist market. Um, or, or um, uh, just uh, gifts to take home. Um, and, and this brings up this idea of fakes as to what is a fake. Uh, because are these fakes or are they, or are they just um, other? Are they other types of art? So what's really important is to, is to look at it from a definition of what is a fake uh, in regards to Himalayan art. And then what are, the, what are the examples? And with this, we also have the two main mediums. We have painting and we have sculpture, but, but we're not going to deal with sculpture here because we've actually not really addressed it on the Himalayan art website. We don't have any um, um, uh, pages with a lot of information or examples as yet. Uh, a painting has been a, a big enough issue for us at this time. But a fake artwork or item is an object created and presented to deceive. The motivation is generally for financial gain or advantage. The word fake is a human abstraction. There is no such thing as a fake art artwork from its own side, from the side of the object. Objects do not have a self-identity of being fake or real. The term fake refers to how an object is presented by a seller, promoter, or owner. A fake object is an item that is presented as something other than what that object is factually and historically known to be, as understood by trained experts, scholars, or witnesses, and of course the, the, the artist who created it. Further to that, fake art is often described as an object created to deceive as to its date of production, provenance, or quality. The word fake is subjective. The human intention of deceit or fraud is the essential ingredient in defining a fake work of art. Sometimes suspect art, often of modern creation, is presented as old because of a lack of knowledge on the part of the owner, buyer, or seller, without any deceit intended or, or present. Sometimes it is just not possible to know if an object, if an art object was created as a legitimate copy or as an object, or as an object of, of deceit. A new composition with obvious distress and painted on old cloth could be created as a copy or for deceit. Um, we have a very good example of um, Qinghai province in China in the 1990s where where Buddhist imagery has been painted on human skins and presented as ancient examples of how, of how Tibetans um, um, used human skin and bodies uh, for art. And this is just purely a fake. These were fakes. There was like two or three of them made. The artist was chastised at the time by many of his uh, contemporaries. So in terms, of, in terms of examples, then we really need to look at uh, paintings that are sometimes considered fake, which are... Uh, what we call here suspect art. Suspect art is where you're not sure uh, if it's intended to be a fake or it's just um, um, been um, um, played with, uh, overly restored or, or, or uh, in-painted. Um, temple shop art can have qualities, uh, high quality art, and it can have very, very poor low quality art. Uh, depending on whether or not a monastery has a painting school and it has all of the young monks or nuns doing paintings um, to sell to raise funds for the monastery. This was very common in India, Nepal, Sikkim, and Ladakh in the, in the 60s and 70s and very early 80s. This was very common. 
and and this art is not of a high quality. Um, then we have um, issues such as um, um, uh, conservation and over conservation. We have restoration over restoration. Um, we have uh, atel fake ateliers in 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 China creating initiation cards, and this was a big deal in the in the 90s, early 2000s, before they were recognized as fakes. Also, these ateliers did paintings. Um, we also have, uh, even even currently, we have uh, new composition. We have com new paintings being done. Uh, then they're distressed to made to look old, and then and then um, then they're passed off as being 18th or or 19th century. Um, we also have Dali art, Dali kingdom art, and we, we've had fakes being produced in um, in um, Asia for for Dali sculpture, oh, for several hundred years now. Um, and then we also have copies that were produced by the Qianlong Emperor of China, some of which are marked on the back as being a Qianlong pro uh, production. Um, and then we have provincial paintings. Provincial paintings can be very poor and the iconography can be wrong, but they're not necessarily fake. They're just poor with incorrect iconography. Uh, and then we just have, in general, poor and bad quality art, which may not be intended as fakes. Now, what is not automatically a fake is low quality art is not a fake. Partially mistaken iconography is not fake. Copy art, is, if the intention is not to deceive, is not fake. Quality art with some non-traditional characteristics or modern characteristics is not fake. Uh, art with uh, conservation, uh, original art is not fake. And uh, art with limited in-painting restoration is not necessarily fake either. So really we're looking for the intention. Um, and why this is a big deal is just because there is so much tourist art being produced in, um, in India, Nepal, and uh, China and Mongolia at this time. There's just a tremendous amount and it is often being, um, over time, it, 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 it gets to be looked upon as maybe it's old and, and it's special, but actually no, it's just tourist art of the time. So we'll leave it there. You can press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.